You're watching Adorama TV. Welcome to another episode of Adorama TV iPad app reviews. Well, this week we have a great app that's called Lights Camera Capture. It's a book that is on the iPad all about taking great pictures with your camera. It goes through the very basics of understanding light, getting the settings on your camera uh, correct, and then learning all about more creative techniques. It's written by Bob Davis, who's a longtime instructor. The cool thing about this app is not only is it text and images and lighting diagrams and uh, equipment overviews, but it also has a lot of videos. So let's take a closer look at Lights Camera Capture. When you open Lights Camera Capture, you'll see that the opening screen starts and then we have this very familiar layout just like a normal book. So we have a table of contents here. At the very bottom you can see that uh, you can scroll through these different chapters and go exactly to the chapter that you want to be in or you can just uh, scroll through the pages like that. So when, when you open this, you can you view this either horizontally like we're showing it now or vertically and so it's fully compatible with both formats. And we'll just come here and uh, tap Seeker of the Light. And here's all the text that Bob's written and it uh, just sort of goes through here just like a normal book. The cool thing is you've got some images like this guy right here jumping and this uh, person in a field. And you can click on that and it'll open that up. And a lot of these will not only show the image, but there is a lighting diagram as well. So you can see how these things were lit. You can see what equipment was used and how these pictures were made. So I'll go back over here to uh, the article and the book and we can just start reading through this. I'm going to the next um, page here and it explains how to read a lighting diagram. You can see this image of this girl who was not run over by the plane. She was safe, which is nice. Um, so you can scroll through using your finger or you can use these little arrows right here to just go to the next page, which is really, really nice. The other thing I really like is if you have something that you're reading through here, let's say uh, this paragraph right here, it says this book is all about how you can use relatively simple lighting equipment, etc. I can push and hold that and then I can select the text that I like and then I can say highlight that and just like highlighting a textbook you can see that now that's uh, got a little highlight there and then I can use a menu up here, this little uh, menu item right there and I can say I want to go look at my bookmarks and I've got bookmarks there or I want to go and see all my highlights and so um, here's one that I just did uh, earlier today and it'll jump me right to that highlight. I can jump back to the highlight that I just made. And so here's the one that we just made right there. So you can sort of see um, as you're going through this book, you can take notes, you can add highlights, and you can add bookmarks. So if I go right here, there's a bookmark that I made earlier uh, for what's in your bag. That takes me right to this section of what's in your bag, and you can see this highlight that I made earlier. So let's go to a different page here, and I'll show you how to create a bookmark. This is for picking your equipment. I can go up here and click the bookmark and just like that, it's bookmarked. And so when I go in here, I'll go to bookmarks. You can see picking your equipment and what's in your bag and I can jump back and forth, which is really, really nice. So it's very easy to keep track of what you're reading, take notes. So let's say that we wanna um, take a note right here. So I'm just gonna click in this paragraph here and I'll highlight some stuff. And I wanna say add note and then this little interface comes over here and I'll say this is a new note. So new note. Um, and then I'll just say, okay, I'm done. And that goes away. Um, and the cool thing is now, I, again, I can go through and look at all the different notes that I've made. So there's the new note I just made. Here's one I said, what are cold shoes? And if I click on that, it'll go through here and it's talking about keeping um, umbrellas on stands with cold shoes. And so if I wanna look up what a cold shoe is, then uh, I've got a note there and I know what I need to be doing to make sure I'm learning everything. And then of course there's a search feature here so you can go through and search for different things. The other thing that you can do is you can totally customize how the, uh, the text looks. And so I can uh, click this here. I can change the size of the text, the brightness. I can turn page numbers on and off and paging hotspots. So that's really easy um, to change how I'm reading this book and make it really, really easy for me to use. Now another thing that's really nice about a lot of these pages, so I'm gonna go back here to another bookmark that I made. So I'm gonna go up here, click on this bookmark, and I'll just zip right over here to chapter one opening, and I'll show you something that's really groovy. So here's a photo that was made in front of a swimming pool. I can click on that, I can see that the, here's the image, here's the lighting diagram, but I'd really like more information about this 
And the nice thing about it is on a lot of these photos, not only do you get the photo and the lighting diagram, but there are videos that go along with this. So uh, this is loading in a video here. And then here's Bob telling us all about how he made this uh, still shot. And so um, a lot of the information in this is not only text and images and diagrams, but it's video as well. Well, that's Lights Camera Capture by Bob Davids. It's a great app and it's only 10 bucks at the App Store. It's well worth the money for beginning photographers and intermediate photographers because it has a lot of information. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you have an app that you'd like me to review, please send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.